Writing this TED talk was one of the hardest things that I have ever done. This is the second time that I've participated of TED Ed Club and it's definitely the hardest. Last year, writing my talk my TED was so easy. Of all ideas that I came up with, one of them just seemed the right and that was the one. To develop the idea was so natural that it didn't even seem like I would have to show to anyone else. It was so important to me, so significant to me, that it seemed like I was just externalizing a part of myself to the world. And this wonderful experience made me so excited to the next opportunity to be part of it again, like that I spent a year having ideas for my next talk. So, this year, when the meeting started, I had the list of ideas and a huge anxiety to start writing. Well, however, over the course of the meetings, this list of ideas began to narrow down when, until there were three left, which at first seemed all very good, and I came to the conclusion that the best thing I would do was to write the three and then choose the best one. And that was what I did, or at least what I tried to do. As time went on, I tried to develop my texts, but apparently for the reason I couldn't. My ideas, which once seemed incredible, now sound silly and childish. Several times I sat in front of the computer and I couldn't write a word that wouldn't make me feel silly. I was, if I, as, I, as if I was saying something so obvious that no one would bother to listening. So I've deleted everything in the single moment that I wrote. Actually, I started writing a TED about musicals, a theme that I really love to talk about. But it seemed like everything I wrote was so obvious and stupid that there was no reason to be reading. One, at one point, I even thought of giving up of TED. After all, I wasn't even able to write a text that came close to being minimal decent. So how to write a whole TED talk? This feeling makes me very bad. I don't write as often as I wish, but I'm always writing texts in my head. And not being able to do it at the time I need it makes me feel weak and incapable. Whenever I talk to some friend about the TED, who always told me their amazing ideas, I feel bad for not being able to do the same. They have already finished their texts and I have even decided the theme of mine. At any given time, whenever someone asked me some of the topic of my TED, I was not only ashamed of telling my silly ideas, but I also felt a lump from in my throat and struggled against the urge to cry. Whenever I remember that I had to write my TED, I feel very bad and almost panicked because I knew that no matter how much time I spent in front of the computer thinking about topics, doing research or even trying to write, I would never have a satisfactory result. My ideas seem so horrible that any text that I write from them would never be good. Until one Sunday night. Proceed by an afternoon summing up in, studying biology, thinking about my TED, almost crying or actually crying, honestly, I don't remember. Thinking about my TED, I got a message from my friend, and that was what the message said. I have an idea for your TED. You can write, right? You're out of ideas, writer's block. Write about it. And as I read this, I swear I heard a crier of angels in the background. Now that this idea has solved all of my problems, but having a film that doesn't seem like the stupidest thing in the world helps much. But I still have some difficulty to write. Every word that I type it seems silly. I feel stuck and useless for not being able to write. But even if it was hard, I kept it insisting. And that's why I'm here today. The term writer's block originated in the 1940s and was created by Edmund Bellinger, a psychiatrist who for about 20 years studied the writer, writing suffering from something that he called Neuro neurologic inhibitions of productivity. One of their findings was the contra that, contrary to the myth that writers, writers could have used all of the ideas and therefore would never would not be able to create it, creativity is not a finite thing. Bellinger also found that problems such as depression, anxiety, unhappiness, self-criticism, 
and a lack of internal motivation are the main reasons of creativity's block to occur. In the book, The Midnight Disease, Creative Brain, Writer's Block and the Creative Brain, the author and neurologist Alice Favor, Alice Raver says that creativity is a function of its specific parts of the brain and blocked may be the result of a disruption in the, of a brain activity in these parts. Okay, now that we know that creativity and blocking isn't just when you are lazy to write, you ask me, how can I get over it? Well, during my research I, for this TED, I found all sorts of crazy things that you can imagine, like Drink coffee, take a shower, take a walk, or even drink half of a glass of water before bed and let it near to your bed. When you wake up, drink the rest of the water after, and after three days doing this, you will be a perfectly able to write. But as it seemed like a little bit unrealistic to me, I decided to put together five tips that worked for me and make me a little more sense for me than make your bed. The first tip is to understand that it's something completely normal. You're not a alien for not being able to write. Every writer has been through this in life. It's something that happens. So it's important to understand that it's something that is going, to, it's something that is going to happen eventually, and it's not a big deal. It's part of writing process. You you only have to get over this. Don't wait, wait for inspiration to come from you, it will never happen. And that, why, and that is why the second tip is get inspired. Listening to music as you try to write. Preferably one of you already know, so you won't be paying attention to the lyrics and you will complete abstract thinking about your text. It doesn't work, if it, it, that doesn't work, try to watch in a movie, an absurd series episode, spending time on Pinterest or even talking to a friend about it. What matters is to get inspiration for writing. The third tip is to study the topic you want to, talk, to write about. Honestly, I feel more motivated to write after discovering new things on the topic. You always make me, well, always make me want to share what I learned with a blank page on Google Documents. The fourth tip is to not be hard on yourself. No text is good at first. A review and re rewriting of some parts is re always required. So don't expect your text to look like a Shakespearean work at the first try. The big issue with writer's block is that you don't feel able to write and the best way to change it is by writing. And that is the fifth tip to write. Write down the idea you want to use in your text. Write down the parts you already have in your head. Even write about things that have nothing to do with your text. Just write. I understand that at first glance everything will look horrible, but horrible is better than nothing. The proof that writing is the best solution is that I was hating my TED until this point, where I've already taken the confidence to rewrite and revise all my texts to this point. And it's not as horrified as it seems before. My point is, as hard as it's to get through outer's block, it's not impossible. And just a little more effort and the end will be earth worth it. Uh, as the screenwriter and comic book writer John Rogers said, you can't think yourself out of a writer's block, you have to write yourself out of a thinking block.